what's up guys my name is Wade, and today let's talk about the ice shard blizzard bill if you have no raiment of the infinite some of us are not lucky so i am one of you guys who don't have this unique so let's go first to the gear before we start going into everything else because if you don't have the right gear or the right aspects then it may not work for you so in any case i'm just going to show you things i am not going to go in depth with what they are i know you can read but i will definitely upload the bills and everything in it on the d4 bills.gg it's a popular site for people to upload their bill and i will leave a link as soon as i get everything done in any case so as you can see the first one make sure that you are trying to get anything that has mana so on this helmet i don't have mana maximum mana on this but if you can have one with maximum mana make sure you get that on there also cooldown reduction is very important now as far as the choice for getting this aspect on there you do not need this aspect to get in it ideally i want to put a different aspect on that but this is a very good one because enemies tend to be very unstoppable when you are trying to crowd control them this is the reason why that we put that on there and we get that 50 percent increased damage when they are unstoppable so this is a very big damage for us for the chest piece just trying to get some total armor on there and also some damage reduction and then for the aspect as a sorcerer you need to make sure this is a mandatory aspect you need to find this aspect and then put it in your build this is one of the best damage reduction in the game right now before they nerf it but if you have the max wall like 50 percent for mine then you are good to go and you're going to be able to tank a lot of damage so the way this works is make sure you hit the enemy as fast as you can just hit them before they hit you then you'll get that armor buff and then you are good to go you can just go into things and then just don't die and then for our gloves we are trying to get lucky hit chance and attack speed and critical chance all that kind of stuff but if you can have the ranks of ice shards on there just make sure you get it this is very good if you can get that on there but although this is not really necessary it's just whatever you can get to put the build together and then for our aspect we just put the control aspect on there but you know you can use different aspect this is an advice i'm going to give you before i continue so let's go to my inventory real quick and i'm going to show you now when you are creating your build when you are planning your build make sure you know which aspects that you want to use that way you know where to place them because there are some aspects that can only go into a certain piece of gear like for instance if you were to use this incendiary aspect you can only put that on a ring so since you can only put that in a ring so you got to make sure you prioritize the ring because if you want to if you really want to use this aspect then you got to make sure that there are no other aspect that is on your ring that's going to prevent you from doing that so just pay attention to because they only have two rings that you can use so if the aspect require you to do that just make sure this is what you prioritize and especially the prodigies aspect which is mandatory for a bill it is, can only go on the ring so just make sure you pay attention to that so back to our gear as you can see i am using a unique but you don't have to use a unique because there is a trade-off when you use uniques because you lose out on putting an aspect on a legendary piece of gear I am using this one because it is not that bad but ideally I want to use a, le a regular legendary piece of armor that way I can put an aspect on it so the more aspect I can add to my build the better but those uniques kind of limit you with that option and for the legs I'm using the flame shield uh, aspect this one is also a very good one especially for us sorcerers you have to use those shields the flame shield barrier is one of the best defense that you have for sorcerers so we're using that this is actually a very mandatory one but if you don't have it then you know you do what you get and then for our weapon ideally i don't want to use this aspect but this is the best weapon that i have for now i cannot find a good one with some good stat so i'm using this for now but ideally i want to get rid of this and put something else on there i will show you some other options 
when we done with the rest of the gear now and then for your focus now you want to put something that's going to give you some damage but it's whatever you have so we're trying to put as much damage as possible that we have on there so i am using the conceited aspect and then for the ring i am using the prodigies aspect if you are having mana issue this is going to be a mandatory one and then you can only use that on the ring so just make sure you prioritize this before you start putting other aspect on your gear and then for the second ring i am using the avalanche this is key to the build because you are using avalanche as the key passive this one will help you tremendously to deal with the mana issues so i will show you when we get to the skill tree the reason why you need to pick this one and then for our amulet what you need to do is make sure that you're trying to get some cooldown reduction on there and then also if you can get ranks for your devouring blaze just put that on there but it's whatever you get you can get whenever you can get it so it, basically you are grinding for some of the best fixes in the game and you need to use whatever you get when you can again for the amulet if you want you can always use some of the best damage dealer aspect that you have for your bill just put them on there and then this one deals plenty of damage and this is very significant when you are using blizzard to use this aspect and now here are some uh, alternatives that you can use in your build you just got to fit them wherever you want to but those are some very good options that you can use like for instance this one right here the shared misery this is a very popular one that you can use so if you want to try this make sure you put this on there and then we also have this one especially if you're having mana issues then you can use this one it's been a buff so if you want to use this just make sure you prioritize the ring slot for it because you can only go in the ring and this is another good one that you can use as an alternative because we are using the enchantment fire bolt then uh, burning is going to be a thing so if you want to have a chance to have some mana back so you're going to have some choices to make because this can only go on the ring and then last but not least this is one of the best one that you can use because you get that extra frost nova and the reason why i'm not using this in the build right now is because i don't have a good piece of gear with the right perks for me to use but ideally i would want to put this as a priority in my build so if you can fit this in your build just make sure you put that on there now onto the skill tree the first thing i'm going to show you is our clash now you might be wondering why we are using our clash it's because this is going to be an enchantment and with the enchantment for our clash as you can see when it says right here when you use a cooldown enemies around you are stunned for 0.5 seconds now if you have more points in there it will be a lot better but i only allocate one point for it because i just want to use it in place of the remit of infinite because i don't have the remit of infinite but whenever you use this, you stun the enemy. You just teleport around them. And, and because most of your skills are on cooldown and whenever you use them, then you can stun the enemy. I made a previous video about this showing you how to use this and why this is important when you don't have the Raiment of the Infinite. So take advantage of that. And once you have the real Raiment, then you can just get rid of that and then don't ever worry about it again. But for now, this is what we use. And then, as you already know, you cannot use a Sorcerer Bill as it stands right now without using Fireball. So you're going to put a point on there and then we're going to go down to the core. And then, of course, you want to use Ice Shard. Now, you want to max this out and then go to the enhance and then you can either choose this one or that one just you read this stuff and you can see whatever is going to make more sense for you and then this is one thing that most people probably don't use but i use this right here devastation if you put a point or two on there you are going to get some maximum mana so especially if you're trying to manage your mana this is a very good option to actually take and then on our defense you already know the deal so it's a matter of how many points you want to allocate so you just take pretty much all of them and then you just go to do your thing so anyway you already know the deal for that so we don't have to spend a lot of time and then for our conjuration skills so you know the precision magic is key for you to get those lucky hit chance so just make sure you just put as many points as you can in there normally you want to max this out if you can now here's another options that you can use to put a point in there and use this as an enchantment if you want or just put it in there just for the sake of using the elemental summoner 
Paragon board and then you will get some benefit for mana in there. I made a video also about this showing you this if you want to take a look and then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is a very good option if you're having mana issues and then that will come into play. And then of course you want to get the align the element to also put the points in there and then also for protection most people sometimes actually max this out but if you have the points just use it but there are other important things that you can do and you'll be good to go and then go down to our mastery just put some points in those you don't have to max them out if you don't want to but it's important and then since we are using blizzard just put some points in there and then just go to this one now you have the option to take this one if you want but you know i go with this one so you have option just play around with things and see what works the best for you and then we're gonna come down here to take the player of the game that is devouring blaze but you got to put a point in there and then just do this this is key when you are playing this bill for pretty much any bill for sorcerer this is very important just put some points in there as many as you can if you want to mess around with stuff but normally you want to max this out especially if you have the devouring blaze ranks in your amulet and your gear then this is key you're going to have a lot of damage especially when you use flame shield to immobilize the enemy so this is key when you are doing this all right now on our ultimate uh, section uh, just uh, you already know the deal for frost and just stick everything in this circle right here now you can take some points off if you so choose but you know you always max those out because this is gonna give you more bang for your buck so that's why you see all those are maxed out but if you want to mess around with things you can take a point out in some of them and then if it doesn't affect you then you should be good to go we do not have an ultimate for this build because i'm using blizzard and i am doing fine without an ultimate so but alternatively you can just take deep freeze just so you can deal with the mana but i don't have any mana issues so i am good to go with that now fire research a lot of people may not take this one but as you can see right here you get some mana regeneration for doing this so i have a point in there if you can have more points then you know just do it if you want to and then i'm gonna go for endless pirate because i want to get to this right here even though i don't have a lot of points in there but this is very important sometimes you forget to look at your health and then you are getting poisoned and then your health go down and you might get one shot i put that on there because it helps you regenerate some health even though it's not bad but it gives you enough time to actually see what you are doing and then just pull out a potion that's why i use that but you don't have to use that you can take the points and put it somewhere else but that's what i do it works out for me it may not work out for you but you know you have options and last but not least in the skill tree is avalanche avalanche is pretty much mandatory for any ice shard frost kind of build that you are using especially if you're having issues controlling your mana this helps a lot in that aspect and then with the aspect that i showed you in the beginning so you know exactly this is very important for the build in any case let's go to the paragon board now for the paragon board you don't have to follow anybody else's path you just use the board analyze the board to see what you need based on your bill and then just go from there but i'm going to show you what i have again i'm going to have a link in the description that way if you want to take a deeper look at it then you can see now this is a startup board and then you also have the ice wall board that i chose so it makes a lot of sense to take this legendary node because it, but the barrier is very nice we are a barrier class so it is very nice to have that and then as far as the glyph now when it comes to the glyph it is very important to actually upgrade them before you actually use them that way you can have the range that you need to activate the nodes that you want but if you have them on there you actually have the primary benefit of using them so it's important to put them on there even if they're not leveled up as long as you get to the nodes if you want to you make sure you, get, you use them and for a third board i am using the static uh, surge board and the reason why i'm using this very early on is because of the mana that i get for it so especially you are using this bill mana can be an issue taking this board early on is very important and once you get there just use the path 
to actually go do what you got to do. You know, and again, you don't have to take anybody else's path, like I said, but you know, this is the path that I took. And then go in there and just take the legendary node on there. And it's important to take that legendary node because we don't have Raymond, but we are using our clash to actually get us the stun that we need. And it's going to help out because we have 10 mana for doing it. So that's why we take that. And then you can also go all the way up there to get those uh, damage to elite. And then uh, you are good to go. And then from there, you can decide to go this path or this path to actually just get the next board now as far as the next board i would choose now i can probably go with the elemental summoner if i'm having mana issues and as you can see you have maximum mana in one of the nodes so if i preview this right here you know as soon as you open it it's right there you can just come down here and then you know and then all of a sudden you have eight mana so you know, it is very important to actually read the board before you actually make a selection. Anyway, guys, that is all. I am level 76 and I am doing okay with this build, even without the raiment of the infinite. So if you don't have the raiment, you can give this a try and then see how you do. Hopefully you give it a try. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.